So we've got Dave in the back here. So when I pull up to the house here in just a minute, they don't see Dave. Good morning, David. You guys are already moving stuff. Chris, nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. My brother Dave will be here in a little while as okay. well. This is the house, huh? We've been here 36 years. And so when did the activity start again? On and off. On and yeah. off. I mean, yeah. you know. For forever. years. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We had three guys in the last six months. So three yeah. different pest control companies. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Two of them went on the roof. Two of them went in the attic, plugged everything up. We haven't had any problems since, but this is since the renovation. They got done with the roof the day before they were closing it up. They had one little thing, but a rainstorm was coming. I called them. They said, oh, don't worry. We have waterproofing well, on it. You know, we have the felt down. And but yeah. it also was the biggest windstorm <laughs> in 20 years. Oh, and the timing was bad. On yeah. That. And it flooded everything out. We pulled in the garage. Yeah. I saw a little stream of water look dripping. I go, What's that? And then while we were sitting in the car right here, it caved in. Oh no. And the whole HVAC system was taken out. We never seemed to have a problem in that area before that. Well, let's go in and so. take a look. Okay, now I'm gonna have Dave do the walkthrough. So here we go. It's classic switcheroo. Okay, here's Dave. We take a look inside? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go for it. That's Abby. Abby. She loves everybody. Oh, looks super so organized. Fantastic. Yeah, we just wanted to make it so you could see. You're too kind. You can see oh, some yeah. of the stuff there. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Whoa. When did this happen right here? A few months ago when we started calling people in. The little one happened only in the last, what, two weeks? It was an oven. There were twin holes. That's called it. There you go. The, the twin holes right here. And this is the better looky one. So this is me right here. Let me go grab my flashlight real quick. All right, let's go get Jimmy now. All right, Jim, they're going to take you to the attic. So get your flashlight and go right in. Go, okay, show me your attic area. Okay. David? Yeah. We'll go check the attic? Okay. Yeah, I'll just show you where it is then. What okay. Do you guys want to... Excellent. Perfect. Okay. I thought you were in there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a confession to make. We were just switching up on you right oh, yeah. now. Uh, the last five minutes. We were day. Sure. Works every time. I'm gonna head up to the roof, see what's going on. There's the bathroom right there. You can see that's where the twin rat holes are. So we're gonna head up there and do a sniff check on the vents. Somebody didn't know how to walk on a roof. You had one job. So I sniffed this one and that one. Absolutely nothing, not even a sewer odor. All right, so you could see that there's been a lot of exclusion work on the exterior portion of this roof, but here's what they missed. You could see they did the exclusion work here. You could see that hole right there. I'm not saying that that is the entry point at this point, but right off the bat, that needs to be covered. Another hole. So you do all of this exclusion work here, and it's wide open right here, wide open right there. If you're gonna come up and do exclusion work, you gotta make sure that it's completely intact and it's gonna stay intact. It's a rookie mistake, my friend. He's excited. See that opening right there, and you can see the grease marks, and the wood is chewed. I think I got something in my eye, you guys, doing that inspection. Oh, I gotta go wash it. Well, that's how you get pink eye. So the guys came in here to investigate this room. That's chewed up. And we found some leaves. So the guys saw this leaf right out of that uh, hole there. So they're definitely migrating. How many pest control companies have been on the roof, you would you say? Just lately, three. And they said everything is sealed up on the oh, roof. Oh yeah. Okay, be ready. I was standing right here and a four and a half foot snake landed on my shoulder. And he landed right here, you could say bent plant. He keeps landing here. Gets up somehow onto the roof, going after the rats, I think. Because you can see the trail here of the oh, uh, yeah. rats. Oh. And so he's following that. And he landed on me, but it was a garter snake. The yeah. biggest one I've ever seen. A few moments later. We're on to something. We're getting smoke over here, guys. And again, all of that loose insulation there, so there's gotta be a breach somewhere. We built this sealed containment because we're gonna open up these walls and ceilings to get our little heads up in there and see what's going on. Crunchy. 
So we went ahead and opened this hole up and then we pulled out. Oh my God. This rat here. You've got some rat jerky here. Oh. Is that a real? Yeah. That's oh, not yeah. one of your fake ones. No, it's it? not one of our fake ones. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got all of the ceilings opened up, we're gonna go ahead and reintroduce the smoke because there's something going on with that haze inside that living room there. We've got to figure that out. So we're gonna inject that smoke. 12 seconds later. I thought the whole time you were pumping smoke no, in the we're ceiling. Doing the drain. That's why oh. we're doing the drain. That's Sitting why. over here like a dead rat. He just thinks he's Mr. Boss Man around here. What do you guys I was able to squeeze up there and look up and I'm getting smoke coming out of the wall. All right, we're gonna tap on the pipe and see if we can hear it in this wall over here. We're so glad we found you guys. I started looking online on videos. And I finally looked you guys up on the internet and then they're in California and I was like, it's Christmas. So glad we found you guys. Thank Nobody you. else is willing to do, you know, everything and do it safely. We're on to something right now, Chris. Yeah, okay. Right here is a pretty <laughs> significant gap. What is this? This is a pipe. It okay. goes up okay. your wall. Two pieces of pipe should yeah. be joined like uh -huh. this. What you're looking at through the camera is like this. Uh, and they're getting in right here. Uh, so now we've got to figure out where that's at in relationship to your wall so yeah. we can precisely open that up. Right. Okay. But that's definitely an entry point. Okay, okay we're done. So you guys will take it from here. Yeah. Chris will trap. She'll do all the exclusion work. Not until I get a rat gonna... dance. Oh, the rat dance. Oh, that's coming later. Brad we don't dance. do the rat dance we'll okay. until we solve your okay. issue, Chris. We are not done yet. All right, we're gonna have to figure out where to open up. I, it's so hard because there's, it's so tight, I can't measure it out. Forgot, we have the pipe locator right here. So Chris, you know where your toilet is? Yeah. That wall has to come out. It's what it is. Okay, my here we go. All right, so there's the pipe. Missed by a mile. That's not normal, is it? So what they're doing, Chris, is they're coming yeah. in here. They're traveling through here, yeah. up here. And running up there and nesting at the very top. And yeah. then you also have a sewer breach. So that's the second one. So that's the second Separate. one. Yes. Okay. All right, now we're going to inspect their ducts because of all that loose insulation. So we're going to get prepared for that. Insert the camera in there and see where the breaches are at. So you can see the chew, chew marks there. <laughs> Some rat droppings right there. All right, guys, our expensive smoke machine just stopped working. It's so hot out. It might just be the heat of that equipment that's just not firing this up. So now we're stuck with this little smoke candle in a vacuum. Let's see if this will work. Time to smoke some fools. vacuum here to push the smoke in. Jim, how we looking? Oh yeah. Thank God for that little candle. We only had one. I'm just that good. As you can see, we're getting tons of smoke. Chris and David are super cool. Look at the display in their garage. Ice water, cooler full of drinks, some fruit. Oh, you were too kind. Pretty awesome. Thank you, David and Chris. We're gonna go on a commercial break because Dave wants to show us his roof nest. Let's go check it out. Now, get this on tape. All we have to do is this. Oh my gosh. That is cool. It's called the oh, rat nest. Oh, I'm sorry, the roof nest. We just got the approval from David and Chris to open up the ceiling in the entryway and the entire ceiling above the laundry so we can really do the proper cleaning, sanitization, especially with Chris's compromised immune system. What's gonna be really cool is to see how they're getting in from the exterior portion into that ceiling area. We're gonna exclude all of that. So the team right now is building a critical barrier in the entryway. So we're gonna open that up right there. Through the roof. This is tacked in pretty good. We kind of peeled back the old insulation here. What we're gonna do though is flex seal all this up so that way this doesn't deteriorate and the sun doesn't destroy this. Very, very important not to use this type of foam here. All right, so we use stainless steel screws. We use our flex seal and meshed all the vents off.
you can see our first layer of wire mesh. So we have foam, wire mesh, another wire mesh, and then we're gonna add some more here to the outside. We wanna really do a lot of exclusion work in this area. Really surprised that those pest control companies never saw this sign. Unbelievable. Dave's up there doing the exclusion work, redoing the exclusion work that the other pest control companies have done. So on this side of the door, we added some more wire mesh and expansion foam there. So we're gonna set up a monitoring camera. It's unbelievable to me how three pest control technicians were on that roof. It's one thing, you've gotta really listen to the clients. They're home, they live in it every day, and if they're telling you that there's activity in a certain area, you better be concerned and you better really do a thorough investigation because as you can see, all three miss that spot. For the record, I found the pipe break. Well, I found the hole. Leave in the comments, what was more impressive? The pipe find or the hole? So we got all this covered up here, completely clean. We got the pipe repair all done. It's all classic golf. Super, super happy. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Chris requested the rat dance. Oh, that's right. We owe Chris the rat dance, and I'm feeling real confident as you saw. We've solved this bad baby. So here is the rat dance. After the monitoring here, there's just a few items left. We're gonna be replacing some of the HVAC duct system. There's two runs. We're also gonna be doing the wall patching and the painting. So we've got some time left here, but the main thing is making sure that this house is finally rat free. So as far as the stucco columns, you could see here the grease marks. We're gonna go up about 18 to 24 inches and put our anti-climb solution, really coat it thick. So that way no creatures can climb up ever again. Chris and Dave were concerned about the garage here because they've seen some rats come in through the rafters here so we're gonna go ahead and set another monitoring camera facing this way right here so we can kind of get idea if there's any activity we'll see how aggressive the the activity is and then from there that'll tell us when to come and okay. yeah. you know okay. and if she picks up anything on the other camera then please let us know, know. yeah, yeah. Us. several days later all right guys it's been seven days now since we've been here last and boy i tell you there's been a lot of activity up that stucco column we're definitely gonna have to put our anti-climb solution check out the footage chris and david has been sending us Let's go check with Dave and Chris and see how things have been going on. David, <laughs> good morning to you. How you doing? Good, how have you guys been? It's been quiet. Yeah, it's been quiet in the house for sure. It's amazing the amount of activity. Outside. Outside yeah. on this column, I mean one after another. They're trying another. to get in again. I used to hear them scurrying around in the walls and yeah. ceiling and all of that. I haven't heard anything now all week. One night. 15 times going up. Yes. You know, we don't know if it was the same rat or different rats. They didn't have name tags. Well, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the activity was up this column right here and up onto the roof. So I'm gonna head up to the roof right now and see if they've chewed any of our foam. We haven't got any activity on our cameras. So the question is, what are they doing up here? Even our rat trap didn't even deploy. Here's our rat trap, again, never deployed. So now we've repositioned the camera because that column is over there. We're gonna see kind of what they're doing up on this roof. So here's our anti-climb solution. You can see it's white, but the great thing about this product is it cures completely clear. A lot of you guys are asking, well, how often do you have to reapply? And that's a great, great question, which we get all the time. Most often, depending on the type of climate that you're in, if it rains a lot, but I would say like a touch up every 24 months, but it's really the only anti-climb patented solution on the market. So the idea is they can't grip to these open pores here where the stucco is. They slip. 
If you're interested in our anti-climb solution, there'll be a link down below and you can go to our Shopify account and order it directly from us. Well, Dave, this has been an amazing journey here and to see the relief on Dave, unfortunately, Chris couldn't be here today, but we're definitely in communication through text and voice. They have just been such a great couple to work with. Absolutely. And uh, I'm, I'm super pleased that we were able to come in here and finally solve the mystery here. And uh, it's really rewarding to David and I when we get text messages going, Love it. we're not hearing them in our house anymore. Guys, please leave your comments down below. Hit that, that subscribe button, button and we'll see you on the next one. one.